Hello, this is year 2027. Coming to you from my kitchen about beliefs, beliefs, the art of walking on air. It's kind of an odd subject, but we're going to get into it. First, we're going to look at a few verses, Matthew 17 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, verily I say unto you, If ye had faith of a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Move hence to yonder place. It shall be moved, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Nothing. If nothing's impossible, walking on air is possible. Jesus Christ walked on water. And in Matthew 21, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verdy, verdy, I say unto you, If ye had faith, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. It shall be done. And then we're going to read one last verse, Mark 11:23. For verdy, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast unto the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Okay, what I'm getting to is most of the religious leaders, when it says whosoever, which means believer or non-believer, it doesn't matter. It's showing the believer in his action word. Whoever should take action. Well, the, the thing is that most people are wor worried about material things. The, the, most preachers get up there and preach. If you believe, take action. And the action he wants is you give him your money. I'm not going to be explain with you. He wants your money. That's all he wants. Some of these so-called preachers on television in different places that claim they have the truth. Well, they have a lot of words, but I don't know if they have the truth. Some of them may have the truth. I'm not going to judge them all. But if you really want to get down to nitty-gritty and walk on air, it's about and believe and build your believing. It's about overcoming mountains in your life, things that hold you back. It's not about physically taking a mountain and thought Jesus wasn't talking about. Jesus used a sample, a physical sample, so so the the ones around him wouldn't understand at the time. But Jesus was talking about the the things that hold you back, your shortcomings, things that stop you from believing, the worry, the doubt in your life. The different things that hold you back. That's the mountains that you want to cast into the sea. Now, you want to walk on air? Well, that's not impossible. Jesus Christ walked on water. Okay, now there's a lot of two preachers going to tell you you need your wants and needs parallel. There was no need for Jesus to walk on water. He, he, he had a need to reach him. He could have walked on air to get there. He could have swimmed. He, he seen a need to get to the ones on the ship. On the boat or whatever it was. So he walked on water. Well, if I need to walk on air, I'll walk on air. Don't have to really have a need. Just have a desire. It's like walking on sun rays. First you do it in, in your visions and dreams. And you build your belief in that you can do it. And then when time comes, you actually walk on air or sunbeams. It's when you change from one form to another. See, flesh was not designed... It was designed to sink when you stand on air. Then I want, but actually, you're always standing on air because the Earth is standing on air. It's floating in space. Space is substance, you know. Air, you know, it's maybe air not as solid as air that we breathe. If, but it's got to be some kind of space, kind of substance. I don't know what it is, and it's probably real thin, but it's something. Now. If you know, it just takes building your belief. How do you build your belief? Well, Romans says, "Faith comes by hearing the word of God." By hearing the word of God. Well, the word of God, the Bible, by reading the Bible, by talking one on one with Jesus Christ and God. It's that simple. It's not a complicated thing. If you really want to walk on air, talk with Christ about it. Talk with Him about it, because one day you will walk on air. You'll walk up there and meet Him in the clouds. In the clouds, you shall ever be. Or until he settles you on a new earth and new heaven. You know, you'll be where Christ wants you to be. And you'll be as Christ wants you to be. You'll be a new being, a new form, a new creature. Because you have put on immortality. You have put on incorruption. You have put on life after death. It says you must die with Christ. It doesn't say you have to see death. Or See death means you, ha you don't have to fear death. You just have to... Die physical, otherwise change, so you can come out of this body and become a different st next stage. 
like a caterpillar, you know, a butterfly comes out of a caterpillar. From one stage form to another, you must change. You know, the caterpillar crawled along, and now all of a sudden he's a butterfly, it flies along. You will float with the air, you will, you will walk on air, you walk on ra sun rays, you walk on God rays. You'll do it all if you just have the belief that God loves you. It's that simple. It's not complicated. I know this is a hard subject. Thought of walking on air. But we can, you can do it now. In our minds and hearts. In our visions and dreams. Out of body and inner body experiences. Which some of y'all may not believe in. Paul, you know, he, he touched on it a little bit. I knew a man. 14 years, whether in the body or out of body. I will not say. And all this is possible. And much more is possible. Why? Because God loved you. Enough to send his son. His son loved you enough to give his life for you. It's not, you know, that we have to believe. It's that we need to believe. We need to believe in something. So we can become more than conquerors. So you can overcome this flesh. Because flesh we have learned is temple. We've watched our loved ones die one after another. We lost our pets, our animals. Whatever we have loved, we watched them die. Or we will watch them die if we're still too young to see death. We'll see death around us. But it's not just seeing death, it's seeing death to overcome. Well, God bless you. I'm going to end now with a holy kiss blowing you away, Roy. I enjoyed doing this. I hope you enjoyed listening to me. Ravel on. God bless your heart.